Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about B-roll as a recording technique. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. When were the terms A-roll and B-roll first introduced? Option A. When digital cameras replaced film cameras. Option B. In the beginning of the 21st century. Option C. Early years of cinematography. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is C. The terms A-roll and B-roll were introduced for the first time in the early years of cinematography. A-roll was the name given to the primary footage of a film, whereas B-roll was an identical roll of film, which was used for additions to the A-roll or for the making of the transitions. Question number two. What B-roll means? Option A. Additional material used to supplement the primary footage. Option B. Primary footage. Option C. Editorial choice of scenes from the original footage. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option A. B-roll is considered any additional material used to supplement the primary footage in order to enhance storytelling or to support your point of view. Question number three. What B-roll cannot be? Option A. Background music. Option B. An interruption of the main story. Option C. An interview. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. B-roll helps to develop a more intriguing story or to explain further a complex point. It can be a zoom out, showing a landscape, the sky, some special building. Or it can be a zoom in, focusing on a specific detail, be it natural or human made. B-roll can serve as an interruption of the story examining different perspectives, implications, or outcomes, which may illustrate a key point or strengthen the argumentation. Question number four. Can you play with the speed of the B-roll? Option A. No, the pace of the B-roll has to match the speed of the main footage. Option B. Yes, it is up to you to decide on the speed of the B-roll. Option C. Only when you use additional camera. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. The timing, speed, and flow of visual and auditory elements in video creation are crucial since they can significantly influence the viewer's engagement and emotional response. The pace of your B-roll will impact the overall rhythm and energy of the entire film. It will mostly depend on your particular content and the desired audience reaction if you will match the speed of your B-roll to that of the main footage or not. Question number five. Can you buy stock B-roll on the internet? Option A. No, you have to record it yourself. Option B. No, you cannot. Option C. Yes, you can. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. You can capture your B-roll yourself, just as you can record your main footage. 
Often it is just a matter of preliminary planning and your skills as a videographer. But sometimes it can be more cost-effective to buy a professional piece of B-roll. Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about using B-roll as a recording technique. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it you can try another one from the Video Teach project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.eu. All the content of the Video Teach project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.